with the continuation of the anti-tuberculosis drug first line therapy the next drug is ethambutol ethambutol have no effect on the bacteria other than mycobacteria suppress the growth of organism resistance to the streptomycin and the isoniazid streptomycin is the second line drug and the isoniazid is a first line drug so no cross resistance drug occur because of its unique mechanism of action resistance to the ethambutol develop its mechanism of action is not clear but the advice mechanism of action or the known mechanism of action by different scientists and from the different literatures are it inhibit the enzyme arabinosyl transferase which is encoded on the gene EMB cap that is CAB cap operon and it inhibit the arabinoglactin which is an important component of the mycobacterial cell wall so its resistance develop when there is any change in the particular gene that is amcap operon or when there is an any alteration of the enzyme arabinosyl transferase clinical use always use in combination adverse effect less than 2% at the dose of the 15 mg per kg per day that is a usual dose and decrease visual activity that is a major adr of the ethambutol or the characteristic adr of the ethambutol optic neuritis what is optic neuritis that is you cannot differentiate between the red green blindness between the red green color and it is also called as the red green blindness it is reversible when you cease the drug it will reverse most most important adverse effect and dose related occur in 15% of the patient receiving 50 mg per kg per day and 5% of those receiving 25 mg per kg per day and less than 1% in the 15 mg per day so the most suitable drug from this is 15 mg per kg per day decrease visual activity and red green color blindness is the characteristic adverse effect of this drug it will increase the ha, uh, uric acid concentration so it is contraindicated in the gout pyrazinamide bactericidal to the tubercular bacillus within the monocyte at the 12.5 microgram per ml this is basically the clinical point resistance develop repeatedly when used alone it is the problem of every antituberculosis drug its basic mechanism of action it is basically the bacterial static and required bioactivation it will activate by the pyrazine amidase which is encoded on the gene pnca gene this gene activate the pyrazinamide into the pyrazoic acid when there is any genetic mutation with this enzyme that is pnca gene you have a chances to get resistance with this drug pharmacokinetic it is orally administered at 1 g 45 mg per ml at the 2 hour and 10 mg per ml at 15 hour Normal dose is 20 to 30 mg per kg orally broadly distributed eliminated by the glomerulus filtration so the dose adjustment is required in the renal impairment patient adverse effect most common and the serious effect is as that same of isoniazid that is hepatotoxicity it will also precipitate out hyperuricemia and malaria it is contraindicated in the pregnancy other antituberculosis drugs are streptomycin rifampicin rifendin these two are the rifampicin para aminosalicylic acid ethanamide amikacin and fluoroquinone